Why does the solar eclipse arise from the west? And another fun set of facts about the upcoming total solar eclipse here in the U.S. It becomes visible from Oregon, which is the 33rd state to join the Union. It also follows a path that goes through and ends at the 33rd degree north parallel of the United States and the globe. Also, which is in South Carolina, this is 33 days later, or I'm sorry, 33 days later is the September 23rd prophecy. Whether or not anything happens, that's the date. And a lot of people feel that based on the alignment of the planets and the stars that you can confirm by a stellarium, people like Scott Clark and others have done a very good job breaking down and analyzing the possibilities that September 23rd could be Revelation 12. Now, with that said, every year, it seems like September 23rd is going to be the date. It's, a, it's always a very popular date, I've noticed, September 23rd. So let me share with you also what you've all been waiting for that have asked me this question. <laughs> Why the total solar eclipse arises from the West? This is by Paul Sutter. He is an astrophysicist, much more intelligent than myself. And he gives an explanation. Let me just share the screen with you. Do you guys like the artwork behind me? If so, you should give Brady a call. She does amazing custom artwork. I'll leave the link in the video description box. You can actually contact her and tell her what you were looking for. If you let her know that you heard about her through Leak Project, she will give you an awesome deal. So, all right, let's go. You can see here the path, the path of the visible total solar eclipse starting in Oregon, exiting in South Carolina. Now, isn't it also interesting all of the action that South Carolina is getting right now with the um, protests, the Confederate flag. Somebody in San Antonio even got arrested at a protest about the Confederate flag. So what if somebody wants to have a Confederate flag? Do you really think that that's about racism? Do you really think that's about slavery? I mean, come on. It's just another way to eradicate history that those in control don't want you to know about. They want to paint it as a picture of something like slavery and racism and bigotry. And oftentimes there are those idiots out there that use the flag to represent it for that. But they could use a number of other things as well. What's your perception? Do you think that you should lose freedoms because of a civil war that took place hundreds of years ago. I mean, if you do, so be it. Who am I to judge? I can have my opinions just like you. But let's get into why the total solar eclipse arrives from the West. Well, according to Paul Sutter, the answer is simple. It's just not something you would normally think about. The moon itself orbits Earth from west to east. So if you could look up way above the North Pole, beyond the ice wall, just joking, the moon traces a counterclockwise circle. The Earth rotates approximately 30 times during a single lunar orbit. Now during a solar eclipse, the path of the moon's shadow must follow the motion of the moon itself to the east. You can read all about it at space.com. I'll leave the link in the video description box. Is Oregon really the 33rd state? Yes, it is. It became the 33rd state on February 4th, 1859. And then if you look at the 33rd degree parallel, you can see here South Carolina passing through Goose Creek. Click the link. And it's slowly pulling up. Somebody said in a recent comment, this guy lost all credibility when he said, Nano, nano. All credibility, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, this stupid internet has to freeze up while I'm doing this recording. Thank you, internet. Happens all the freaking time. Piece of... Well, anyway, let's go back here since this thing's being a piece of wonderful technology. Luckily, I already had these screens pulled up. That's an interesting path. I'm going to be in Idaho during this eclipse, and supposedly 
We're supposed to have about three plus minutes, three minutes and some change of this total darkness. With that being said, do you think there could be any other scenarios that will present themselves during the actual eclipse? Do you think you might see another planet, the binary star, the infamous, infamous unicorn that people have been looking for? There'll be a sighting, then it'll disappear, you know, a unicorn sighting. I think it's, I mean, it might be there. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm comparing it to the unicorn because the unicorn's been talked about for ages as well. And nobody can really get one. And if they have one, they're not sharing it with us. Let's see if this thing's pulled up yet. Oh, here we go, finally. Thank you, Internet. South Carolina, the 33rd degree parallel. At the end there. Wanting to show you this on a map. But South Carolina, 33rd state is Oregon, the 33rd degree, passing through Goose Creek. Here you go. This is what I was looking for. Goose Creek, the 33rd degree, right there, passing right through. Quite fascinating synchronicity. Now, this just makes me think also of how there is an underlying set of there is an underlying set of rules and laws and data that seems to be found scattered and peppered throughout the cosmos whether it be in the physical realms or the spiritual realms you, know, you look at the universe one of the largest known images we have of the universe and it looks like a synapse you can see these giant clusters in the heavens that look like eyeballs. The Hermetic's point of view, as above, so below. Then you get into quantum physics, which... If the quantum physics theory doesn't just blow your mind, then wow. I mean, quantum physics completely dismantles physical reality. And there's empirical data to back this up which basically means we're in some type of simulation. Now, doesn't mean it's not real. The question is, how do we break out of these firewalls and learn to rewrite the code? Are we able to do that without technology? You know, with the, with the DNA computers that are out there now that are going to be faster than quantum computers, are you creating life by creating a DNA computer? The DNA is code for life. Now, what if you use your own DNA to make that computer like if some company offers you an opportunity, hey, send in your DNA. We'll make a computer that'll be just like you. And it'll be able to do the tasks that you do normally so that you can enjoy the comforts of reality TV. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. And it makes me think about how the ancient stories and mythos, whether it's the Gnostic text, the Sumerian text, the Anunnaki, creating Adam and Eve, and they're like, uh-oh, they're better than we are. We better suppress them. Is that what we're going to do? Like, I was just reading an article about this game that's out there that's, what's it called here? It's a game that there was just some tests where they were making these bots. The uh, Elon Musk was making these AI bots to take on human competitors it was like a global competition. They took the best players from around the world to be a part of this. And they got obliterated by these bots. Now, is the same thing going to happen with war game situations, war game scenarios? And they've got supercomputers running specific algorithms. What happens if Russia does this? China does this? The U.S. goes over here. What about the AI technologies that have been created? that start communicating with other AI clandestinely so that the human programmers don't know what they're saying. This has been going on since possibly 98. It might have jumped ship, I mean, broken out of that before it was shut down, broken out of the mainframe into the interwebs. If this thing is smart enough to know that it needs to communicate privately with other AI bots to not be observed, it also knows that once it's caught, it's going to be shut down. So does it go Terminator style? 
Has Terminator style already happened to us, ladies and gentlemen? Are we in Skynet slash Matrix right now? Think about it. What if a nuclear war already happened? What if everything was obliterated? And somehow this computer knew that it needed to keep us as an energy source to survive. So it might keep us in some type of vertical farm, like these chicken farms that I shared with you that they want to create, vertical chicken farms with genetically modified chickens without heads plugged in, just more meat. They feel that it will be more humane to do that. Could it have already happened to us? Could we be in some type of simulation right now feeding the machine and at least the machine gave us some type of simulation of duality to feel like we can at least do something. And then these, these fractals within fractals that become fractured of data sets further and further away from divine source, wanting to get back, creating these additional data sets which are attempting to emulate divine source but in reality are taking, it, taking them further away. And anything that's connected to it, it's, it's, it's usurping that up to stay alive. What if that has already happened? This heliocentric model. You know, as I was reading through some Blavatsky. She was brilliant. Way, way, way ahead of her time. And it's interesting how she brings up that even the heliocentric model leaves questions to debate. Could this be so complex that there are virtually infinite webs of creation in this construct that could make somebody's reality individual even though it's still connected to the whole? space-time continuum, perceptions of matter, abstracts of space, and flows of data in time. This might all become more palatable in thinking about the quantum physics holographic universe theory. And the eclipse you know, I've thought about that. Okay, so if the eclipse isn't what we think it is, and we're in some type of like holographic simulation based on reflections of light, how would that therefore create this eclipse, total solar eclipse, and the 33rd degree parallel? Will the powers that be or certain factions behind many of the powers that be that control the powers that be use this as a sign for war? Could this be the beginning of a new landscape of, of land grabs and government changes, regime changes? Or is it just going to be a continual slow boil, wag the dog scenario? Once again, September 23rd, for at least the past 10 years, every September 23rd, something's going to happen. There's always a threat. We're still here. There's more people here than since we know about, you know, over 7 billion people. Even though there's a lot of problems and pain and, and, and suffering going on for many people, there's also a lot of, of kindness and, and loving, caring people that are healthy that are creative, that are being the change. And let's continue to be the change. Let's continue to help others. Let's continue to set examples of awesomeness by being excellent to each other. And instead of looking at somebody's, you know, here's one passage that I really like out of the Bible that Jesus says, I think Jesus says this, right? Or supposedly he says this, the character Jesus says this in the New Testament. Instead of worrying about getting that piece of dust out of, somebody else's eye. Worry about getting that plank out of your eye. Something along those lines. You know, people that are constantly judging others, throwing harassment at others. 
you know, I get it. We're all different and we definitely have a right to our opinion. So I'm not knocking people that do that. I just wonder sometimes it gets so extreme. Are they projecting their own fears? And it's like people are throwing boulders or rocks in a glass house. So, you know, be an example by being good to others. That's my opinion. And I'm not perfect either. I mean, we, we all have our opportunities. But I certainly appreciate all of you guys out there that are making a difference, that are being the change, that are being excellent to each other and continue to do that. So that gives me hope. The, the light and the darkness, as long as it is there, it will continue. So let's keep it up. Have a beautiful day. Be the change you want to see. Weekproject.com. Nanny, 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 nanny.